energy recharge with refinements. Probably going to be perfect for bow. This is your F2P bow weapon, I'd say. Let us talk about the fishing gameplay details. So for any of you guys who have not been keeping up with Genshin Impact's Twitter on their forum page, uh, their Discord, their official Discord, anything like that, I will be your new source. I can be your source of information, all that good stuff. Let us dive in to the fishing gameplay details. Starting off with the very beginning. In 2.1, this is where the fishing gameplay will start. The unlock criteria unlocks uh, the Serenity Teapot system, which we already have. Complete the quest, Exploding Population, which I assume will be something new that happens. We have different kinds of bait we can make. Fruit paste bait, uh, red rot, false worm, etc. Select the appropriate fishing rod. Right now, I think we only have two, but maybe in the future, they'll keep adding more. Cast your line and keep track of your fishing progress. So this is kind of like Stardew Valley kind of fishing, right? Where you have to keep the bar inside of the thing and it keeps moving left to right and stuff like that. I kind of like that system, not gonna lie. Uh, if you see ripples in a nearby water body, this means that the fishing point, that it is a fishing point. Get close to the fishing point, interact with it to start fishing. Each fishing point will be refreshed every three days. Wow. During this period, the alternation between day and night will influence the appearance of the fish. So every three day, three day respawns. Maybe we can do like some, uh, some kind of like friendly games and stuff like this. Maybe they'll do like some events where we have to catch the most fish between other players and whatnot. That'd be fun. Different water bodies contain different species of water. While preparing to fish, you can view the species that can be found here and select the appropriate rod and bait. I'm hoping we get some big fish, you know? You can make bait at the crafting tables. It tells you what they're suitable for as well, for all four kinds of bait. You can exchange the fish you catch for various fishing rods at the fishing association in each region. Using the appropriate fishing rod for the area can increase your chances of catching fish. Interesting. So you have the Mondstadt one right outside of the Mondstadt walls near the uh, tavern. You have uh, this one at the Liyue Harbor. And you have Inazuma, which is right outside the city near the, uh, the tree, right? And this is where, ooh, this is what we're going to get into a little bit later on. The polearm catch. We'll talk about that later on. That's the one I'm most excited for. Hold the cast rod button to enter aiming mode. Let go of said button to flick your bait and hook out. If your hook lands too far from the fish, its ability to attract them will greatly decrease. Pretty simple. If it lands too close, it'll be startled and flee, to, uh, flee the scene. Self-explanatory, yeah? <laughs> Look at the animation. I mean, I like it. I like it. Man, we're Stardew Valley right now, man. Genshin Impact is actually like adding every single mechanic from every single game into Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact is going to be the ultimate game, you know? Like, when, when is uh, when is uh, Among Us going to be added into Genshin Impact? You know what I'm talking about? Stardew Valley also just announced a 40k USD tournament for fishing. <laughs> was it fishing? It was sign me up. This is our This is our practice right here, man. Fish on the hook will sometimes enter periods of intense struggle. At this time, the speed will increase, uh, be, effect be affected, etc. If your progress hits zero, the fish will escape. Self-explanatory right there. To make it easier for the travelers to record the locations of fishing points, a pin for indicating fishing points have been added to the map. <gasps> okay. MiHoYo knows how to update pins. What a surprise. Because I'll be honest, I'll be honest. I thought they forgot about the pins. You know how badly I've wanted new, new, unique pins because of how many things I'm adding and I have to keep reusing the same icon over and over? They finally added something for fishing. Maybe this is a sign that MiHoYo will finally add like different colors for the pins as well in, in case we want to determine like rarity of something. Maybe just different pins all together. Holy smokes, this is big. I'm sorry to get excited for, for a simple pin. But this is something I've been wanting since like day one, you know? <laughs> you can exchange caught fish at fishing associations in various regions. You can also use them as meat in cooking. Ooh, another way to farm meat. I'll take it. You can check the species that you already caught in the living beings. Nice. At the Inazuma, this is big right here. At the Inazuma Associate Fishing Association, travelers can exchange for the catch, the four star polearm, and you get free refinements. This is the free four star that I've been talking about right here, the catch. And I kind of figured I was, I mean, it makes sense though, right? Think about it. Dragon spine or whatever update. We got the festering desire free four star with refine refinements on it. 
we got Windbloom Ode, a bow, three refinements on it, and we got, hold on, wait for it, the Catalyst, Dodo Coat Tails, I almost forgot about it, four star, three refinements, and then they showed off a fish, a Claymore, which was a free four star. That only leaves a spear left that they owe us, technically, well, they don't technically owe us, but you know what I mean, right? They, it was, it was, it was a, a matter of when, not if. We were going to get our free four-star pole arm, and here it is. Energy Recharge with refinements. Probably going to be perfect for bow. This is your F2P bow weapon, I'd say. Make sure you guys grab that during the fishing event. F2P bow weapon, for sure. Increases elemental damage, and they cut it off at the bottom. Okay, increases elemental burst damage. That's all I need to know, miHoYo. I am with you on this. I am with you. That is going to be the weapon we use. Ah, oh, with Energy Recharge. And then we have the finishing last uh, things down here. There are certain living and more valuable specimens in each fish species known as ornamental fish. In fishing areas will such fish at them will have obvious ripples effects. What the fuck? Is this like shiny Pokemon or something? Little little one that stands out? Is this is like your shiny Pokemon? You can redeem the fishing blueprint pool of Sapphire Grace at the Liyue Fishing Association Ornamental Fish Cop via fishing can be raised in this sort of pond. And that's it for now. That's it. The pole arm is what I'm most excited for. The pole arm is uh, definitely what I'm most excited for now. So now we have the full collection. And now and now the question uh, rises with, uh, will they go back and repeat the cycle? They've given us a free four star weapon for every single weapon type and the refinements to go along with it. Now, will they give us another sword next time and keep going on and repeating the cycle over and over. That'd be cool. I'd be down for that. I was looking forward to always getting four-star weapons or maybe they have something new. Maybe we upgrade to five-star weapons now. Maybe we upgrade to five-star weapons and that's what they're going to hand out. But the Claymore though, but what about a Claymore? I mean, they're giving us a fish, right? In 2.1, they're giving us that free four-star fish. They didn't mention anything about refinement materials or anything like that. Maybe it's just the fish, but I kind of hope it is the refinement materials. If it's not, then well, we're looking for a Claymore next as our next free four-star weapon that they'll give us with free refinements and that this is not the last one that we're receiving. Um, oh, they did. They did. Okay, maybe I overlooked it. But yeah, we got the fish. Fish is our free four-star Claymore. This is our polar. We got all the weapon types now. Check the first comment. Kakomi? No. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Holy shit, dude. Oh, good lord. Wait, what? Oh, no, no, no. What am I looking at, dude? <laughs> what? What am I looking at? Kakomi, no. Oh, lord. Cursed image, dude. Why is everyone memeing on Kakomi, alright? Look, you leave Kakomi alone. You leave Kakomi... <laughs> Kakomi alone. She is gonna be the best five-star character you've ever seen. I was gonna save the image, no, but you guys are watching me. I can't have that happen. I can't have that happen. I'm happy though. I'm happy they're giving us a free four-star for her bow. I can't wait to beat so many people over the head with that claymore that's just a giant fish lamau. True. And that's gonna make me using D Luke a lot more fun as well.